Good morning, beloved. Again, thank you for joining us this morning, uh, Friday, April 28th. We're almost at the end of the month and we are so thankful to God for all of his goodness and kindness to us and for allowing us to see yet um, another day. We give glory to God. Um, let us pray, please. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. We worship you, God. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We invite you in our presence this, in, the, in our presence this morning. We thank you for your goodness and kindness. We thank you for keeping us safe all night and waking us up this morning in good health. We thank you on behalf of our families and behalf of uh, the families of everyone that is represented uh, this morning and anyone else that is going to watch, Father. We come to you. We bring our burdens to you, oh Father. We ask you to set us free, to set our hearts free, oh Father. We thank you again for this glorious day that you've given us. As we are set to go out today, we commit ourselves in your hands, oh Father. We ask you to guide us. We ask you to keep us safe. We ask you to give wisdom, oh Father. We ask you to shine your light upon us, oh Lord, so that we can follow your ways, so that everything that we'll go out and do today will be things that will please you, oh Father. We ask you to forgive our sins, oh Lord. Renew our spirits, oh Father, so that we can continue to do things that, that, that pleases you, that, that we can focus on seeking your kingdom, oh Father, that destruction will not deter us, oh Lord Jesus. We, we claim victory, oh Father, against any powers of the devil, against any uh, dark spirit, oh Father, against anything that is against it, that, it, that, that is not of you, oh Father. We, we thank you for fighting our battles this week, oh Father. We thank you for protecting us this week, oh Lord Jesus for the battles that we know and the battles that we do not know, oh Lord Jesus. We ask you for healing for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. We ask you, Father, that you cover them with the blood of Jesus, that the blood of Jesus will heal them, those who need to be comforted, oh Father. You are the comforter. Those who are sick and need healing, oh Father, you are the, the, you are the best doctor. And those who are lonely, oh Father, you are the best companion. We come to you this morning to fellowship, to fellowship together, to worship you, to glorify you, and to thank you for your goodness and kindness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So I'm going to share um, my screen, my slides that will guide us as we, we pray this morning, as we pray together. Can you all see my slides? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So I don't know about you, but for me, this has been a week of just different battles. But it's also been a week that has really, you know, continued to teach me to be strong, to persevere, to have faith in God, and to just not be deterred, knowing that He is able and he can take care of everything. So the first reading um, this morning will be from Jeremiah 1, verse 19. And it says, 
They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. As we all know, the path of life is not always straight and smooth. We know that we will fight the battles and will continue to, to, to find challenges that will strengthen our faith, that will help us to be able to endure. There are battles and there are fights, but we're not alone. God is always with us, knowing that it is well, regardless of any situation, is faith. Just knowing that the Lord is with you, with you can strengthen you and give you hope. Let's remember we're children of God. So regardless of any situations and circumstances, let's tell the devil that we are children of God and he is not going to play with us. That no challenges can undo you if you hold on to the truth that he is with you. So this morning, let us unmute if you can, beloved, and let's just thank God uh, for, the, for fighting for us and to, and to remember that our battles are his battles and we are not able to fight alone. So let us unmute and thank God. Lord, thank you for the comfort of knowing that you are with me, regardless of the test and trials that I face. I may worship your name. How wonderful it is to know that to fellowship one with another, not overcome or overwhelmed. Thank you for because you just been demonstrated to us in many ways. Thank you on this day, Father, to say thank you because you are with us. You never leave us nor forsake us, oh Father. Because you never we thank leave you. What says in everything we should give thanks we to thank you. you. So we have come to give because thanks to you. We know that you always do challenges. Path, oh God. And we know that we you've found told us in the word that we Lord. are victors and we are we more than conquerors. Victory, oh Father. Overcomers. We declare so victory, you, Father, Father, in your presence. Thank you. We oh know, oh Father, that we know. Of that no battle, regardless of the tests and the trials that we may face. Thank you, oh Father, for being there with us overcome, during overcome, our overcome, trials and our tribulations, oh Father. We thank you for we the millions of you. angels that we walk thank in you, our oh Father, for thank just for being there with us, oh over Jesus. us. We thank, thank you for, for covering us with your guiding us, hands, oh Father. and to us. In thank the name you for covering us with the blood of Jesus. trials and temptations, we Father. Thank you for your we can goodness. be sure that these angels will minister to us just like even when Lord. our hearts are Christ. aching, oh Father. After He forgive us, oh Lord. Such challenge. Even when That's our bodies are weak, oh God, our minds are weak, oh Father. Because we remind us that, that we not you are victorious battle, and we are victorious as if we believe in you. Father, in the name of Jesus, to cover us in your grace to rise above every challenge in our lives, Father. Lift us high, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your love, Father. Thank you for never leaving us. Thank you, O God, for all that you have God who is too faithful to fail us. Help us to continue to trust you, So, Lord, we say thank you. The trust is the trust of God. The miracle work that you have for us. my light in the darkness. We just we say thank you for mending our thank hearts. You, Father. Thank you, Father. Help us to stay for ministering God. to us in the ways thank you, Lord, that we Jesus. need in this season. Thank you, Father. And we will come you out like the three light. people bright boys who are on the side. Help Not us just like follow you. Those who have gone through the fire. Help us to just follow you. Jesus. Jesus. And like Daniel, even if so we that, turn into the lion's den, Father. So that will not, will not be consumed by the lions in the name that of will not be distracted Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Our focus is indeed on you, thank you Lord. in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Our next prayer point is going to be from 
the book of Psalm 27, verse 14. And it says, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. So I'll just share a quick story that, you know, uh, as some of you know, my, my daughter is going to college this um, um, summer. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't get much financial aid for the school that she, she wants to go. But, you know, I had to remind myself what I had asked God. You know, sometimes we forget and then we, we start complaining. I said, God, I did, I did ask you to uh, put my child in the school that you, that you know that she will thrive and uh, yeah, she, will, she will be happy. And you will take care of the rest, God. So while I know that, you know, we don't have that much money, uh, to be able to cover her next four years, I have to trust in the Lord to know that, God, my child will graduate. I'll put this in your hands. So I have to practice that, that faith to have peace and to take heart and wait for the Lord, knowing that he will take me through these next four years. So... You know, sometimes it, we just have to be patient and wait for the Lord to move. It doesn't have, he doesn't have to give us answers right away. At times like this, we can feel uncertain and overwhelmed. However, we are called upon to be strong and courageous. May you know, beloved, that his strength and courage as you, as you trust him, him, um, his timing and, and plan. Trust his timing and plan for you. Beloved, please unmute and let us pray. Let us thank God and let's just ask God to continue to help us to be strong and take heart and wait for him, knowing that he will take care of every situation. Let us pray. But in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Help me, Lord, to not be in a hurry when it comes to things that only you can do. You know the perfect time and place when the breakthrough will happen. In the meantime, I will be strong and courageous as I trust in you. Father, help us to trust in you. Help us to trust in the path that you have for you. Help us, oh Lord, to trust in your process. Beloved, unmute and just pray and just ask God to help you to just trust in the process in whatever that you, situation that you, 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 you are in, whatever need that you have, whatever request that you have to God. Just ask God to help you to trust in the process and to continue to manifest and to not forget to, not forget to manifest as God is working on you, as God is answering you, as God is, is, is just taking you through the process. Oh, Father, I have faith in you. Jesus. Help us to have faith in you. We come to you this morning, asking you to help trust in you, to trust in the process that you have for us, to trust in the things that you have for us. You have plans for us, Lord. Even before we were formed in the world. You knew us all. You 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 Depend on you on everything. Depend on you on everything. 
Thank you, Father. you for today and for the future. Thank you, Father. Help us to show that example of, of children of God, of children of God, regardless of the circumstances of God, that God will stand strong, regardless of injustice that is happening to this world. The children of God who stays strong, regardless of the battles of the fight of God, knowing that you are the God, that you are the 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 that toute les batailles in the people for giving me peace of peace. I thank you for your goodness and for me twice because I know that I'm defined. 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 I declare victory. I declare victory. I know I'm a winner, oh Father. I know I'm a winner, oh Father. I know I'm a winner. The next reading will be from uh, Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse sixteen. It says now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means the Lord be be with you all it is only in the Lord our God that we can find the peace that we need he is peace and he's the giver of peace let us ask him to help us to be patient and when we're patient, we can have peace. We can go to sleep with peace, knowing that the next morning, God will show us a way, will show us a way forward. There is, there is enough going on around us to rob us of our peace. Beloved, let us do everything that we can 
to not allow the devil to rob our peace. It is how we respond to the situations. It is how we respond to the devil. Amen. And, and that is you know, how we are going to guard our hearts and to protect our hearts. Because God tells us in his word that we must guard our hearts. If we do not guard our hearts, we will be distracted. We will, we will be worried. We will not have confidence and faith in him. It says, but he comes in the midst of what we are facing and he brings us his peace. Let us unmute and pray for peace. Let us unmute and pray for any situation. Negativity, um, negative uh, co-workers, anyone that you're going to come across who's going to want to be anyone who's going to come and, you know, jealousy, uh, people who are going to backstab you, uh, any, any battles that you're facing. That are, that are stealing your peace. Lord, how thankful are we that you know the situation and the circumstances. You are our peace. Let's make peace into our life and hearts, oh God. We declare peace this morning. We declare joy this morning. God, we receive your peace, O oh God, by faith right now. We receive your peace, O oh Father. We invite the Holy Spirit to give us peace, oh God. Give us peace, O oh God, to give us peace in our lives, oh God. We, we, we invite the Holy Spirit to give us family members, our loved ones, oh God. We ask you for peace, O oh God. We ask you for peace, O oh Father. We pray for peace, O oh God. Oh, I plunge you more than that. We are many people have no peace of God. We pray for peace of God. We ask the Holy Spirit to bring your calm into our minds, oh God, and our spirits, oh God. May they hearts, oh Lord Jesus. We invite the angels, oh God. The angels that will bring calm in our household. Oh God. De la paix soit the dans la famille et dans la de la the peace that we can have in the midst of battle, the peace that we can have when we are facing lions, even when we are facing the darkness, the peace that we can have when we have the dangerous situations so that it can only be found in We pray for peace that surpasses all understanding Oh, oh, Dieu, mon roi. The peace that only comes from you, oh God. We pray for peace, les coeurs, God. Les gens. The peace les that when we walk into a room, family, oh God, you will be there, God, knowing that you will be there with us, oh God. When we go to place, when we go to place any situation, oh God, lives, oh God. When we go to bed, oh Father, you are the first of the trust 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 of the the peace that we claim victory, oh God. We claim victory. Oh.
mercy and cause my thing. We claim the peace that comes just the ingredient. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, O Lord, because we know that we, when we trust in you, Lord, when we bring our burdens to you, Lord, we our we set our hearts free, O Lord. We just thank you. Stability. We thank you for the peace that comes in you, O Lord Jesus. Je we thank you, Holy Spirit, as well. Oh God, it's going to help us to guide our hearts, oh God, to guide our hearts, oh God, to throw that armor, oh God, it's going to guide our hearts, oh God, from all the distractions of this world, because we have peace, we cannot walk away from it, because without peace, oh God, we cannot walk away from it. God, we cannot focus on the light. Because without peace, yes, oh God, we cannot be the light. Yes, we cannot be the light to others. We cannot be the light to our families, yes. oh God. We cannot be the light yes. to our children, oh Father. Without peace, oh God, we cannot lead families, oh God, that 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 have come, oh God, that knows that regardless of any situation, we need to be strong. We need to have peace in you. We need to have hope in you. We need to trust in you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Glory. We thank you, oh Father, for giving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our next prayer point is going to come from uh, number 6, uh, 26. And it says... May the Lord bless you. Uh, I can hear feedback. I'm not sure whose phone it is. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. The Lord wants us to experience his bless blessings and favor. He wants to turn his face towards you and look on you with love because he is love. He also has a gift for you, which is peace. He reminds us that his gift is, he has a gift for us and one of those gifts is peace. His peace is possible in every situation and circumstances that we face. Let us just continue to thank God for his promise, for his promise of peace. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and kindness. Thank you, O Lord, for your favor, O God. Thank you, O Lord, for your love, O Father. Because we may know that we were your children and that you love us, oh God. We have peace, oh Father. When we know that you are protecting us, oh Lord, we have peace, oh Lord. When we know that you are covering us with the guiding angel, we have peace, oh Father. When we know that you are, you are covering us, oh God, in just the arms, in your arms, oh God. We have peace, O oh Father. When we know that you are in our presence, O oh Lord, we have peace, O oh Father. We know that the Holy Spirit is guiding us, O oh God, and it's giving us peace, O oh God, to respond to any situation, O oh God, and to be patient, O oh God, and to wait for you, O oh God. We get peace, O oh Father. We know that without you, O oh Father, we have peace, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Father, for the gift of peace, O oh Father. We thank you for the gift. We thank you for the gift of joy. What's me towards my family? Jesus, thank you for sharing. I thank you for the peace this week with us. All the circumstances. Thank you, Father, for sharing your love and your peace. Oh Lord Jesus, for showing me, oh God, when things are coming that are going to destroy my peace, that are going to destroy my peace, oh God, and to stay certain. Devil, you have no place. You have no place in my heart, oh God. You, you, the devil has no place in my heart, oh God. The devil has no place in, in distracting and destroying my peace, oh Father God. I know that in you alone, we have peace. And we sit, we sit your guidance and under your arms, oh God. You, we are going to have peace. And we're going to be in peace. 
to people around us, oh God. And we're going to bring peace to the world, oh God. The world that has so much discussion, oh God. Bring peace, oh Lord. Bring peace, oh Father. Allow us to open our hearts to receive your peace, oh God. To just continue to guide us out. I receive your peace, the shalom, nothing missing, nothing broken. That the devil will not steal my joy. That the devil will not uh, steal my, my, my focus from you, O oh God. That the devil will not distract me, O oh Father. That I will not try to solve my own problems. I will give my burden to you, O oh Lord. Thank you for everyone here, O oh God. Thank you, Father. I ask you, God, for me, peace to everyone here. Yes, people. Amen. Jesus, I Amen. Amen. The next prayer point is going to come from the book of Exodus, Exodus 3, verse 8. So I have come down to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land into a good and spacious land a land flowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. Just like the God, how God brought the Israelites out of the hands of the Egyptians, he's going to do the same to us. He is doing the same to us. The Lord is in the business of rescuing and delivering his people, the people that trust in him. He's able to deliver you from any situation that you're facing. His plan for you is to bring you to a place of hope and security. Let us trust in his ability to lift us up and change our circumstances. Let us know that he is going to bring us from the hands of the Egyptians into the land that is flowing with milk and honey. Let us unmute and just thank God for bringing us from the hands of the Egyptians. Thank you, Father. Thank you, oh Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For rescuing us, oh God. Thank you, oh Father, for bringing us to a place of peace, oh God. To bring us to a place of abundance, oh Father. We thank you, oh Father. We trust that you are you are coming, I mean, you are rescuing us all the time, oh God. Rescue us from our those things that would like that would like to destroy us all oh flowers. Make a way for me oh God, and bring me into my own space. The Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites. Let us let us pray over oh, 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 let us unmute. Oh, let us thank God for bringing us from the hands of the Egyptians, and that he'll continue to bring us out from the hands of the Egyptians. So that precious land, the land of milk and honey. We thank you, O oh Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your goodness and kindness. We thank you because you're so gracious to us, O oh Father. We thank you for your grace, O oh Father. We thank you for living, O oh Father. We thank you for guiding us. So, Father, as we go through any dangerous situation, Father, we thank you, Father, for rescuing us from our strongholds, oh Lord Jesus. We, re we thank you, oh God, for rescuing us from the powers of the devils, oh God, from the principalities, oh God, and the darkness on our side, this world, oh Lord Jesus. 
Thank you, for our Father, for bringing us to a, a place of peace, oh Father. For bringing us to that place of peace. Uh, Lord has consumed us. For just separating Lord has us. 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 So we can from separating us from the Egyptians, oh Father. For leading our way, oh God, to you, oh God, to the kingdom of Father. To your kingdom, oh God. Help us, O oh God, to continue to seek you. Help us, O oh Lord Jesus. Bring us out of our house. Bring us out of the circumstances that we are facing. Because you know that you have been the Lord who has any situation to the other side of the house. So I'm going to take us through the house and bring us up to the mountains. And victory. We claim good health, O God. And the waters we claim wealth, O God. We claim your happiness and joy, O God. We claim your favor. We thank you, O God. We know you're going to bring the destiny to help us, O God. To come and help us, O God. The destiny help us, O God. We're going to help us, O God, to take us from one to another, O Lord Jesus. We thank you for your guidance. That comes in rescue of any we thank you, God, for taking us from farm, I know, God, to the, to the land that is full of food, oh God. We know, oh God, that you're going to take care of all of our situations, oh God. We thank you, God, for the promise, for the promise, oh God, that you will bring us out to the land, to the good land, oh God. Precious land of that the land that is flowing with milk to the home of the Father. We thank you, O Lord. We glorify you, Father. We just give glory to you. We honor you, O God, knowing that you have taken us from that place of danger. We claim victory this morning. We claim victory for this day. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our last uh, prayer point this morning is from the, the book of Psalm 54, 7. And it says, For he has delivered me from every trouble, and my eyes has looked in triumph on my enemies for he has delivered me from every trouble and my eyes has looked into triumph on my enemies let, let us declare my 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 um brother my brothers and sisters let, let, let us declare that he has delivered us from every trouble and our eyes has looked in triumph on our enemies that we will testify against our enemies. The Lord is our deliverer. The one who is able to rescue us. The inevitable troubles of life are not too difficult for him to handle. In fact, he can deliver us from all of our trouble. He's our refuge and our strength. So let's just run to our deliverer. Let us pray. Let's thank God again because he has delivered us from our troubles and we will look down on our enemies. Let us thank God. Beloved, unmute and just thank God for delivering us from your enemies. Lord, how wonderful it is to know that you are with me and you are my deliverer. Thank you for helping me to trust in you. To trust in you, oh God, and to thank you, Father, this morning. I to thank you, oh Father, for, for delivering me from my enemies, oh God. I am trusting in you, oh Father, in all my troubles, oh God. Even things that are not resolved already, I claim victory, oh Father. That's how we can be able to manifest, oh Father, by claiming victory, oh God. Thank you, oh Father, 
for giving us that faith and trust in you to be able to claim victory, to be able to claim victory in things that we have not seen, oh Father. To declare victory, oh Father, and know that you have delivered us, oh Father, that you have delivered us from all of our troubles. Beloved, I'm mute, please, and thank God for just delivering Troubles. Thank God for delivering you from all the troubles and the troubles to come, oh God, that you are so glorious. We thank you. We thank you for your victory, oh Father. Thank you for delivering me this way, God. Oh all of my troubles, oh God. From all the things that came up, from the, from the, 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 the battles that I have I claim victory. I've seen your hands, God. I can testify this morning, oh God. I've seen your victory. But sometimes I will go to sleep not knowing how things are going to be at the next morning at my right place. If you have been taken care of that, for giving me that trust in you, for giving me that faith in you. God, I glorify you. I thank you for fighting my battles, oh God. For delivering me from the hands of the enemy, oh Father. I've seen your hand, oh I've seen your hand this week, oh Father. I've seen your hand in me, oh God. I've seen your hand in my family, oh God. Oh God, I just thank you, oh For everyone who's here this morning, oh God, going to come and watch you. Just remind them that your word says that you will deliver us from all trouble. There is no trouble that is bigger, bigger than you are. Help us to, 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 be, to be patient and to trust in your promise. I thank you. Thank you. I ask you to continue to strengthen my faith. Strengthen my faith. Help me to obey you. To listen to you at all times, oh Lord Jesus. Do not be distracted. Talking to you to, to deliver everyone on this life, their family, oh God, their families, their loved ones, oh God. Anyone who's going to come and hear this uh, and listen to this uh, prayer this morning, I commit them in your hands. Deliver them, oh God. Deliver them from all their troubles, oh God. Deliver them from the, the, the hands of the devil, oh God. We claim victory. We claim victory in all our issues, oh God. But we ask you oh God, that the most important thing that we need to do is to obey you, to obey you, to follow your commandments, oh God. It's, it's, it's to live in the lives that pleases you, oh God. So that we can be able to experience, and so we can be able to experience uh, your love, oh Father. So that we can be able to experience peace and joy that comes only from you, oh God. Thank you, oh Father, for continuing to strengthen us, oh God. Continue to help us to be able to persevere, oh God. To persevere through. Any challenges of God, any challenges that, that you are working on, of, knowing that, that that we claim victory, we claim victory for oh God. We thank you, oh God. We declare this morning that we are victorious, oh God, that you have delivered us, oh Lord Jesus, and let us trust in you, and let us stay for God. As, as, as we go out this morning, oh Father, we continue to put everyone in your hands. 
We ask you, Father, to guide us, O oh God, as we go out and come back this evening, oh Jesus. For those who are sick, O oh Father, we commit them in your hands again this morning. We pray for your healing, oh Lord Jesus. We pray, uh, that, that, Father, that you touch any heart uh, 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 that needs to be comforted, oh God. Any lonely spirit or God, that need your company, oh Father, this morning, just remind us that you're right here, oh Father, that we just need to open our hearts, oh Father, that we just need to invite the Holy Spirit, oh God, that you're now far from us, oh God, and that you have delivered us. Oh we thank you for your salvation. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, oh Father, for the Holy Spirit that lives in us, oh Lord Jesus. We just glorify you and, and give all glory and thanksgiving back to you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Beloved, let us um, uh, close with our, with our closing. Uh, let us end um, the, 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 our prayers this morning with our, our, our closing prayer. And um, I hope that you all have a blessed day, that you spend victory in every situation that you, you will face or that you're facing today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Let us close. <clears throat> Thank you, beloved, and have a blessed day.